Take on a mortgage. And we all watch what happened with the mortgage meltdown. Whether you are a homeowner or a renter, it affected all of us by bringing on the Great Recession. Well, today, the government's consumer watchdog, the Consumer Financial Protection Agency, announced these new rules for home loans. What are they supposed to do? They're supposed to protect borrowers from getting loans they can't afford and protect lenders from lawsuits. Let me just run through some of this for, for you. Take a look at the screen. So you have no more down payment loans, no more no down payment loans, I should say. No more qualifying for a loan at artificially low teaser rates. No more of that. No more so-called low doc or no doc loans. Borrowers total debt cannot exceed 43% of their income and loans cannot be longer than 30 years. John Adams is nodding his head to all of the new rules here. He is a longtime real estate expert, writes for a, a column uh, on the Sunday, Atlanta Journal and Constitution new, newspaper. So welcome, John Adams. Thank you. All right. So let's just off the bat, what are these changes, all these new rules we ran through, what does that mean for, you know, if you're buying or refinancing? Oh. It's, it's going to be more difficult to get a loan now than it was five or seven years ago. Everybody knows that the lending environment was far too loose. Anybody could walk in seven years ago. You didn't have to prove any income. It was a no-doc loan. You could probably get it with no down payment. Mm -hmm. uh, that didn't make sense. You had no skin in the game, and that's why we had so many loans go bad. Right. Uh, the pendulum has swung. <laughs> and now the lenders uh, are, are worried that if they make loans now, that they have financial liability. There's a, uh, the rule is uh, the ability to repay. If the, if the borrower does not demonstrate the ability to repay the loan, then the loan goes bad, then the lender can be charged with the loan. So and they this don't, protects the lenders as this well. This protects the yeah. lenders, exactly. And if they use these new rules, which everybody will, then it will be designated a qualified borrower. And qualified borrowers are sort of like pre-approved by Fannie Mae, okay. and they say, we'll take that loan, and if it goes bad, it's our fault, not yours. Okay, the pendulum has swung, new rules. How does this affect the housing market? Well, it's not good. Uh, a lot of the housing market right now depends on first-time home buyers. And these are the people who most need help because they tend not to have much in the way of a down payment. Mm -hmm. And they tend not to have the best credit in the world because they're just getting started. Right. And um, uh, builders frequently have offered these um, adjustable rate mortgages with teaser rates to get them into the house and get started. And as we talk about in real estate, once you're on the ladder, you may be on the bottom rung of the ladder, but when the ladder moves, you're still on it. Mm -hmm. Well, this is just going to make it harder for people who don't own real estate and have not established themselves financially to grab onto that bottom rung. What if you are very, very low on the ladder? Let's say you are underwater on your mortgage. How does this, does this affect you at all? No, you, no. Could, you can't borrow anyway. Um, the problem is now only the most qualified borrowers that have a large amount of cash and a solid gold credit score and a traditional provable income mm -hmm. are going to get loans today. If you are like me and you have non-traditional income, mm -hmm. sort of self-employed or that type of thing, it's going to be very difficult. If you don't have a big chunk of change to put down, it's going to be very difficult. And woe be unto you <laughs> if you're looking for a jumbo mortgage, which exceeds the Fannie Mae limit of, and they're changing it, but around 340000 Good luck with that. Good luck with Good that. Good luck with that. John Adams, we'll read your column in the AJC. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. By the way, uh, we just heard from Fareed Zakaria about his special on President Obama's second term. Uh, that special airs 8 p.m., 8 p.m. Eastern.